What's up guys, Everything Fish here, bringing you today the now fourth episode of the Native Fish Care series. Just want to thank you guys so much for helping me make this series possible, all you guys are supporting this, I'm getting a lot of views on the videos, nice to see a lot of people interested in Native Fish, so anyway, today's episode is on the Rainbow Darter, so let's get into it. Scientific name is Etheostoma Caeruleum. No other names or nicknames out there as of yet. Family is Perchidae, which is Perches and Darter family. Origin, according to the USGS, is the Great Lakes and Mississippi River basins from southern Ontario and western New York to Minnesota and south to northern Alabama and Arkansas. Isolated populations in southwestern Mississippi and eastern Louisiana and in Upper Potomac River drainage, Atlantic Slope, West Virginia, Page and Burr, 1991. This fish was described by Storer in 1845. For tank size, a 10 gallon would work for one male female pair, but if you want to keep them with other fish in a community, I'd recommend at least a 15 gallon tank. Maximum size is about two to three inches. We might get three and a half inches, but that's really rare. Temperament's peaceful, only occasional disputes over the territory with other darters, but nothing too harmful. Most of the fish never get hurt. For experience, I'd say moderate. They're one of the best darters out there for you guys who are wanting to get into them, but darters in general just aren't a hardy group of fish because they're most of them are pretty sensitive to water chemistry. At least somewhat, more than most other fish. So, for feeding, these guys are omnivorous. And they'll eat frozen or live food, but not really dry. You can, a lot of them will eat dry, but they don't do too good on it. So the best foods are brine shrimp, mysa shrimp, blood worms, black worms, and cut up earthworms. Pretty much staple for our, all darters and tanks. For temperature range, ideally you want to keep them 56 to 74 for general keeping purposes. However, for most darters, if you want to keep them, that would be lower. I'm going to cover probably breeding darters in another video. Yeah, you want to get it much lower if you want to breed these guys. But like I said, I will go over that in another video. Hopefully sometime coming up in the future. pH for these guys would be 7.0 to 8.0. Most darters thrive in that range. Activity levels pretty active fish. They like to roam around their tanks and explore hiding spots like these. I got caves, crevices, driftwood in here for these guys. So best tank mates would be smaller and more peaceful natives such as most other darters. Um, minnows, dace, shiners, smaller chubs, top minnows and killifish, same family, and most suckers. Not a lot of the larger ones, like I wouldn't house a white sucker or a buffalo with these guys, but jump rocks and red horses, you could probably get away with. Go pretty good in the community together. For decor, include a decent amount of caves and rock work for them to hide in because that's where they go in the wild. They're hiding under rocks constantly in the current. These are a fast water fish, find even in riffles. For substrate, Sand or gravel bottom. I have these over pool filter sand, pretty coarse grade of it. But you can keep, I just wouldn't keep them in silt or mud, pretty much. Anything else would be good. Maybe even bare bottom if you want to breed them. So overall, rainbow darters are a great fish for those who want to get into darters. But they're still somewhat sensitive to water conditions, so don't keep these unless you're ready for a somewhat challenge. You gotta keep these water clean at all times, guys. Be sure to naturally scape their tank with hiding spots and keep the water cool, and you should have good success with these. They are really beautiful fish. This is my male right here. He doesn't have the most vivid coloration right now because I don't have a lot of algae growth, which darters can benefit from having hair algae growth as long as it doesn't go overboard and mess up your filtration, which I had happen in another tank. I lost a lot of darters, but... If you keep algae under control, it can really bring out their colors. Not the brown algae, the hair algae. There's my male. 
And there's my female. Female's about an inch and a half. Male's probably two and a half. So thanks for watching guys. I'm going to do a species info video probably tomorrow or Saturday. Oh, what am I saying? Tomorrow is Saturday. Saturday or Sunday. Once this hits about 50 views, I'll start making the... Uh, taking the notes for the next video. Let me know if you have any suggestions for natives you want to see a video on that I keep right now, and I will see you guys next time.